Hello everybody, it's time to roll the wind. Thought I'd give you a quick update on our recent excursion down to Tunica, as well as show you at uh, near the end of the video, uh, an eight press that we used where we had $420 pressed up on an $18, starting with an $18 eight. That was, was a lot of fun. Uh, <clears throat> Biloxi was as busy as I have seen it since the reopening last year. Um, it appeared that there were a lot of junkets that had been flown into both Harrow's and Beau Rivage. I don't know if the other casinos do that or not, but we had a big crowd down there. There was a group of about 14 people that I was with which obviously we couldn't ever all get on a table together but we were able to play in small groups of course sometimes you miss a a big hand that someone's tossed because you're not in that group and then they miss the one you're in so hopefully more or less that kind of works out <clears throat> unless you're like me and you went to sleep one night and and you miss an hour and 20 minute toss. But uh, <clears throat> as far as my toss was concerned, got there Thursday, had lunch with a couple of guys. We ran over to the IP and right off the bat, I had great, my, I was real pleased with my toss on that table. I had a, a 25 toss Actually, one of the guys, a couple of guys that were down there, they were one of the people that chart tables and they write down everybody's toss. So it was handy. Maybe it's something I should consider doing, but I just feel like it would mess up my rhythm, possibly. Um, it wasn't a super outstanding winning uh weekend or event <clears throat> for me at all some of the guys was pretty darn good I kind of fell off in a hole a little bit after we left the IP and it took me a little while to catch back up and then we all had a bad hand at the crapless table at Harris uh, we had a couple of guys uh, heavy and banker dude they did a real good job from straight out but most of us struggled I personally could not find <clears throat> a good landing zone for my toss uh, from the hook on that table uh, very short hands for me we had long runs at uh, the Beau Rivage, and there was a plethora of people, big named, well known, uh, legendary craps players uh, in Biloxi and between the Hard Rock and the Beau Rivage. They were pretty well all covered up. Tables. Minimums ranged from $15 to $25. The IP was at 15 when we got there on Thursday by Friday afternoon. They had gone back to 25. Bo Rivage would have every table open Friday night and Saturday night. A couple of them were 15s, the rest were 25s. Harris kept theirs at 15. The tub was at 10. And I saw two, well, three monster hands thrown on that tub. And I was only involved with one of them. Um, the other two, I was not bought in, but I was trying to get into the table. One was, one time it was already full. The other time I just waited until the, the guy sevened out before I actually bothered the rhythm of the table. And he had a monster roll on that little thing too. I barely got to throw on it. 
uh, if I even threw on it at all. I'm not even, I guess I did that one time, but one time I bought in and as soon as that guy sevened out, they said the next shooter was the last shooter of the day on the tub and they were going to go open up crapless and so didn't even get to touch the dice so in that scenario we did play a little of the electronic craps uh, at the palace mainly because some of the guys had never been on one they wanted to try it most of them kind of thought it was boring uh, because we missed the interaction with each other and with dealers you know the positives are everybody says well there's no chips in your way well you know <clears throat> sometimes I'd rather have some chips out there and people to talk to and I don't know I just it just wasn't fun to me they're just not fun I haven't gotten into it yet of course I haven't had a whole lot of time on one the one at uh, Scarlet Pearl went there twice. It was closed both times. They may have shut that down. Uh, I hear there's maintenance issues with the one at Harris in Las Vegas. Maybe they've got the same issues. I don't know. Or maybe the locals have figured out how to make too much money off of them. I, again, I'm just speculating. But it was like a who's who uh, in the crafts world in Biloxi. I was amazed at how many uh, the old PAR, that's P-A-R-R -R guys, were in town. <clears throat> and one of them had a uh, an hour and 30 minute roll Sunday night. Of course, I had ate, had ate dinner late with a group and I went on back to my room and they went on to the bow and they were lucky to catch it catch a lot of that roll um, bow was bad to give you some heat first time i've seen any real heat uh, if you missed the wall they were going to warn you one of our guys had a real soft toss and he wasn't intentionally trying to miss the back wall he just didn't want to hit it hard and subsequently his dice a lot of times would die just a few inches and they were continually on him about hitting the back wall <clears throat> I think I got warned once there uh, and that was it the I just looked at the Hit boss and said I'm sorry I apologize I know I need to hit the back wall physics is physics and I just didn't quite get it there it wasn't on purpose you know physics is going to do what physics does right well, sometimes the dice just die and you don't even know why um, I personally was pleased with my toss throughout the whole weekend I had at least two, maybe three hands over 30. Uh, several, I would say between 18 and 25. I know I had three PSOs, 0.7 outs, for the whole weekend, so I can't really complain. But one of the things that we did was a lot of fun. Another guy and myself, side by side, we both had eighteen dollar eights at the beginning of a toss so i'm going to kind of walk people through it many of you would be familiar with it but it was a lot of fun and for those of you who are not familiar with it watch closely uh, it's a very simple play but it's a pretty powerful press at the end <clears throat> so the first hit paid 21 and of course, as you know, you've seen me do it several times on these videos. We went straight to 42. Next hit, the dealer paid us 50. We gave them $1, but we put that $50, find a place to put this. I'm going to stay up here in the six. Put $50 in the rack. Next hit, 
Same thing, got $50, and we said take us to 90. Swap these out, so that's 75. 85, 90. So we went to 90. 90 on the 8. Next hit pays uh, 105. Do it over here. 105. We put that in the rack. <clears throat> Next hit, peg 105, so we're at 90, we said take us to 180, so there's 175, 180, there's change, so we went to 180 from 90, 90 on the next hit, Paid us 210. We took that, of course, and put that in the rack. Next hit, paid 210. Here was the next power press. We went uh, from 210. We told the dealer, we, get, we gave the dealer $30 out of our rack and said take us to 420. <clears throat> All right. There's, oh, what am I doing? There's, there's one, two, three, four, 20. That's a big eight right there. So we had $420 on the eight off this press. We've got 250 60 75 dollars or so in the rack off the eight at that point. <clears throat> and it hit. The 420 hit. We took ten dollars out of the rack and said we'd like a purple please. And so they gave us a five hundred dollar chip so we cleared, if I did that correctly here, $750, $765. The interesting thing is, is that the next press, if you're brave enough to have done it, would be to take that 420 and take that to 900 and that's your next press. We didn't get that chance. So the smart thing would have been to have reduced to, I don't know, uh, to 220, 180. You could have pulled two or three hundred dollars back off the rack and picked up basically a thousand dollars off of that eight, which that would have been the smart play. Now the guy was hitting other numbers and we were making money off of the other numbers, but he was obviously pounding the eight with eight of them. So that was a lot of fun. And that's a pretty good press move if you're willing to take that and leave that casino money out there for a minute and try to really press up. It was really neat to get that $500 chip. I saw it happen twice on the same table with the same shooter. One time I was standing there drinking my coffee because I couldn't get on the table. Uh, but the same guy that was with me, he was already up there and I leaned over and I told him, I said, you really need to reduce that. I said, I got to thinking about it. <clears throat> if you're going, if it's going to hit, don't press it to nine, pick a different number, say 600. But I said, if you're really smart, you'll reduce that down to 280.
something something that will give you, you know, the 300 press it, drop it to 300 take a couple hundred back something I said but he didn't do it and he never got the opportunity to go on that next hit either but the guy hit the all tall small all the bonuses uh, that Harris has added to theirs in addition to the all tall small there's the natural bet which pays 75 to 1 that's basically just the 2 3 11 and 12 if you hit those 75 to 1 bet uh, then 12 to 1 if you hit all the numbers so there's five different prop bets up there at the top that you can do that was the only time I saw it hit was while I was unfortunately not bought in standing there drinking my coffee cheering the guy on to make it <clears throat> so like always Biloxi is a great town it's a great place to play craps it was a little crowded um, I don't know what I was really expecting I was I know what I was hoping I was hoping that with the shooters that I was there with and myself that we could make a really big splash kind of like we did last September but that wasn't to be at least not for me uh, just barely up uh, for five days of craps that's a lot of days of craps I was exhausted I apologize for taking so long to even do this but I was very very tired uh, it was a five-hour drive back home in the rain on Tuesday and it rained almost the whole way <clears throat> so I just wanted to give you all that update thank everyone I just want to thank you also for subscribing those that have, have subscribed while I was out of town I really appreciate it and I thank you if you'll hit the like buttons it does help me out it helps give give us more exposure uh, to the craps community I think you if you've watched my videos you know there's not many it's not much smoke and mirrors in my stuff most of it's good old everyday craps things that we can all learn from it's helped me just by doing the videos I thought I can treat I, I really think my shot was better because I've been doing uh, so many videos for you guys so I appreciate it we'll have some more videos up uh, got some ideas and we'll show you another press move uh, that I, that I kind of war gamed live with at the Beau Rivage and it kind of worked out give you some thoughts on that we'll look at it and see if we can make it work uh, it's got a good regression built in I think uh, regression is key and it's a weakness of mine so a built-in regression would be a good thing for yours truly so in doing that we'll we will practice like we play and then we will play like we practice unless the intent and we'll also roll to win <clears throat>